Looks like a tricky one. Let's get straight into it. Hello Huskelings, it's day 12 of the 2021 Advent of Code. We're going to use Span to split each line into tuples, splitting on the dash character. But it doesn't remove the dash, so let's use fmap tail to do that. This works because fmap for two tuples calls the function only on the second element. Let's start by extracting out the nodes by mapping first over the connections and using nub to remove any duplicates. Next we can make a function that, given a node, returns the nodes connected to it. Because the connections are two-way, we need to add all the connections together from both sides of the connection list. We can also hard code here that we shouldn't go anywhere from the end node. Let's then make a function that, given a path stack, we'll find all the possible continuations of that path. We map over the connections for the node on the top, then if the node in question is a lowercase one that we've visited before, we ignore it. Otherwise, we return all the possible paths from there using recursion. Let's see what we get when we call f prime from the start node. So, of course, we need to use concat map to merge all the possibilities. And it's complaining about the type of f prime, but let's fix that by also hard coding the end case, which will help it with the type inference too. And now we just need the length of that list. For part two, we can separate out the validity check. On an empty list, it should return true. When we have seen a lowercase cave twice, then we can move on to valid prime, which will do essentially the same check as we had before, not allowing any more lowercase caves to be repeated. This seems a bit repetitive, but I can't think of another way to do this, so please comment below with your solution. We're explicitly told that we can't ever visit start twice, so let's just remove that as a destination for all other nodes. Hmm, zero doesn't seem like the right result, and that's because the validity check is the other way around now. That looks much better. So until next time, happy Haskelling!